Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel genomet study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos in this video video we will talk about sdp prediction it is a tool to predict the amino acids within the gene family that determine the specific function uh, within the or among the homologous proteins many protein families contain homologous proteins or genes that have a common biological functions but they have different specificity towards their substrate for example a transferase in them family all the genes of that family have the common biological function that is the transfer of molecule from one substrate to another substrate but their specificity towards that substrate is different like some group of transferase family members transfer a one molecule while the other group of the head family transfer another uh, molecule so which residues or which amino acids are important to differentiate their substrate specificity we will identify through sdp pred sdp pred predict a set of alignment positions sdp specificity determining position that determine differences in the functional specificity that which amino acid is specific to which uh, substrate and it also give the amino acids within that family which are responsible for the transmembrane segment because some proteins are related to the transmembranes so in this way we can also predict that within our gene family which amino acids are responsible for the transmembrane segments so how do we can analyze so let's start so this is my gene protein family i am working on hsp70 so this is my family protein like i have 21 genes and i want to know that my protein family is divided into different groups as i have made the phylogenetic tree and it shows that my protein family is divided into five groups and each group may be have different function towards the stress so in within these groups which amino acids are important towards that stress response of the plant but first we have a look on that uh, sdp pre prediction tool so open your google or any search engine then write sdp pred and it will give you this this is a link of a publication in which you can read about that uh, software that sdp pred a tool for prediction of amino acid residues that determine differences in functional specificity of the homologous protein so it will give the detailed information about this uh, um, tool that how it works and what are the how you can interpret your results or analyze your results but we go straight go towards the that tool so here this is a tool so here we need the alignment paste your alignment into the form below here and then we have some this is the how to say uh, citation if you want if you do this uh, on a tool so you need to cite these paper or publications in your manuscript but first we need to make the alignment so open the google mega and uh, copy your uh, sequences select all copy 
then align edit build alignment create a new alignment uh, we have a protein sequence so protein and paste or control v and then w align protein and okay so our alignment have done so then we need to export our alignment in fasta format must remember it must be fasta format to our here is a how to say sdp pert so now we hope choose the file and submit oh error the query alignment is not corrected format so our alignment is not as it requires so we need first check that which format it needs so here it says that uh, it is a GDE format and uh, column content is some more corrected that it is charge and is equal to if we distribute them into groups so, so each group divided into that uh, is equal to and then at the end of each uh, how to say gene name you must uh, write that percentage so we try to make the our um, alignment file according to this so we need to open our alignment file um, open with notepad so here we can save it as alignment so first we need to change that greater than size greater than size into percentage so here we can go to the edit replace and here replace with is greater than replace with is percent find what is find what greater than replace with percentage and replace all so our all the sequences change into that percentage so now other thing we make the groups so we keep our genes one group is separated to another group for example in the tutorial I want to study between these two groups or only I take these two genes uh, I just pick 20 and 21 from group 1 and the other is the 2 and 17 from group 2 so I need this copy new and here I need this 20 and 21 1 is 2 I here group 2, 2 and 17 from group 2 so I didn't need this 1 2 and 17 so I delete this 20 and 21 from um, this 20 and 21 from group 1 is my how you differentiate so group 1 and group 2 so you need to 1 2 3 is equal to space right group 1 space 1 2 3 this is from group 1 2 and 17 and here 
one two three is equal to space group two one two three so we have made our that input file so you can also prepare your input file like this but here we can also check that here yes this is a gene name and other is a underscore and then group name so we can we can also write here uh, gene name and group one copy one this is group two group two now our input file is saved input file line so now we can upload our back here and then submit so this window has come so it tends, uh, tells about that uh, there are 960 some amino acids four sequences and among these four sequences there is identity but here it says that group two group one also have two sequences and among between the group two members is 81 while the between the group two members the two sequences have identity 93 and here is the group one have the two sequences and each they their identity and uh, here you can select any one protein that you should have your main protein or you can say on the basis of that protein the stp to the results and so anyone you can uh, select i select these two and uh, here would you like to predict tm segment first or not if you are protein is uh, have the transmembrane function then you can do the yes if your protein did not have the function related to the transmembrane then it is better to select no my proteins are not related to the transmembrane function so i did not select yes but if your protein have the transmembrane function then you must select yes so i with it click on submit then you can wait a little bit so it will show that your uh, results when uh, finished so it will give you this uh, table like uh, here these are the sdp for sequence of uh, that hsp 70 2 group 1 the best probability value is minus 3.5 local minima of p value are in bold so these are these while the global minimum is more red wine so if we see is there any local minimum that is in red so no there we didn't have that red one and also it shows that alignment position of these four uh, how to say these uh, uh, four uh, sequences um, between the two groups that's 64 and 190 and uh, uh, 379 these are the amino acids set which they align or have the important functions related to their uh, respective uh, family well uh, this amino acid in alignment while in uh, uh, this gene that we have uh, given at the priority on the basis of which gene they have done the these analysis so here the protein uh, amino acid is 65 which is e where in other alignment the amino acid is 190 where in uh, this gene is 181 that is q here is a t these are the position and also amino acid name which have the important and these are this probability value and here you can check the details 
by clicking on it it will give you that in group 1 the uh, uh, amino acid is E while in group 2 the amino acid is M this is we have two sequence in both the sequences of group 1 uh, they have aligned amino acid is E while in the both the sequences of group 2 the aligned amino acid is M where as you see here if we can check here this one so it is also in group 1 the both sequences have F where in both sequences have Q in group 2 and their position is 556 and 505 so it gives this that position and also here this is a uh, local minima that uh, show that alignment position of that other three um, I have to say amino uh, sequences and they are that are related to this group and this mutual information and this is a Bernoulli estimator and here you can also get the colored alignment when you click on it on open then you can see that these are the genes alignment of group 1 these are the group 2 alignment and red one at the aligned so here is SDP are marked red so these are the predicted amino acids long the had the functional amino acids of this family if you get the RTE RTF alignment in RTF format so you can also open it and save it and when it uh, you can use in another analysis and also if these uh, amino acid sequences have the TM segmented related amino acid then they were showed in bold but our uh, family didn't related to the TM function so it didn't have that bold uh, amino acid so it didn't show that one and other are the predict specificity for other proteins so you can uh, uh, also predict them for other proteins so when you open it and then you can simply paste that sequences uh, sorry that uh, aligned sequences that have there's this this type of sequences that alignment sequences but at the start have the percentage so select all copy and then you need to paste and then submit so it also gives that uh, information about that gene this is a sequence name or gene name this is a group 1 related to their weightage or how to say their alignment and uh, this is related to their group 2 and then their maximum and here is a group 1 or group 2 this is Z score and here is a group of group Z score so here is a list of amino acids that in which gene which amino acid is uh, linked or have the uh, alignment with which one so at the first which first one that is the uh, that HSP 71 the 41 gene while the 265 gene and uh, 3 is uh, uh, 57 amino acid 47 so these are the list of amino acid in each gene that which is imported for this uh, family so in this way you can use the STP to predict the functional uh, amino acids related to your protein function so hopefully you can understand and have the info uh, help for, for um, this uh, video if you have any query so you can contact with me and please like share and comment thank you